Yeah, you know, that that's, that's such an interesting uh, situation to be in because, like, literally, I, at that point in time, I was training for the uh, the RFA middleweight fight, the, the, the title fight. And I think it was on Friday, I trained, f- I did five five-minute rounds with, with two or three fresh guys. So, I mean, I was already pretty much done. And I'm, I'm at the car wash Saturday, and I get a call from Holly Gracie. And, you know, I'm, what's up, Holly? What's going on? I have this event going down. Uh, you know, I didn't even ask when the event was. Oh, okay, what's going on? Yeah, I had a fighter drop out. Man, can you step in and save the show? And so, you know, right away, I'm like, I got excited right away. Like, yeah, he saved the show. Yeah, of course. I'm in. When 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 is it? It's t- it's today in one hour. And I said, whoa, whoa. I said, what do you mean one hour? Yeah, you have to be here within thirty minutes, and you'll be probably going on the mat in about an hour. And I said, who's it? Who's the uh, matchup? He said, Keenan Cornelius. I said, oh <laughs> shit, you know. So for me, man, like you know, just the opportunity to you know, come in and, 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 and challenge myself against a guy like Keenan, I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. So, it, you know, it didn't take too much for me to, to, to get on board with, with coming in, but, you know, I gave my best, my best effort at the time. I, I got a little gas and then he, uh, he caught me in some, you know, basic, basic stuff. You were training for the, uh, the middleweight, uh, was it the title bout yeah, or was it your that first was, that match? Was, that was uh, RFA's inaugural uh, middleweight championship title fight. So, you know, I, I think I fought two two fights previously for RFA, and then the third one was the, the title fight. And, uh, you know, for, for me, man, like I've been pro in MMA since, I think, 2010. And so a lot of my career has been focused on MMA, and I, I stopped competing – and stop um, training as heavily in jujitsu because of all the other disciplines, you know, the wrestling and the, the Muay Thai, kickboxing. And so a lot of times when, when I come into the, the, uh, the, the competitions, I'm not as sharp as I, you know, as I used to be or that I usually am with the jujitsu. It's, yeah. So, uh, uh, real quick, just so you, you get the call from Hollick, you, you, um, you, have have the match against Keenan. How are you feeling after? Because you've since appeared in a ton of grappling only shows. Like was was Metamorphs three your first? I, I really I don't even remember to be honest with you. Like I, I feel like I haven't competed that that heavily in the in in the last you know five years or more. You know, so it's most most of the time it's kind of like a last minute thing. They need somebody to come in. They know they know I'm a gamer, and so I, you know, even when I I competed with the uh, the EBI, yeah, you know, it was on like a week notice, and you know, so and, I, and most of the time I'm always, you know, I coach at the Black House Gym, so I'm always around the fighters, and I'm always kind of in in that atmosphere, and uh, you know, I'm always down to compete. Yeah, when you when when you, when you take a note a, a match on thirty minutes notice against arguably one of the greatest jujitsu competitors in the world at the time, like you kind of build a reputation for a game guy. So it's like, ah, fuck, we need to slot this bill about one hundred ninety pounds. I guess we can call Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin will do it. So let's just get hey, Kevin, um, I know it's super last minute, but we need you to drive eight hours to Milwaukee uh, for a fight in a Buffalo <laughs> Wild Wings. <laughs> That's funny, man. 